Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from Amanda Crochets and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this easy and simple Mary Berry dishcloth. This dishcloth measures approximately 9 inches in diameter and you can definitely change this up to fit your home decor or if you want to go with the Christmas theme like I am doing today you can certainly do that. So I made a few different samples for you today. So I have this variegated color with the white. I have a solid color right here. And then I just changed up the colors right here as well as these two as well. So there's definitely many possibilities that you can to get into the Christmas spirit and these definitely make a wonderful Christmas time gift or if you have an upcoming fall or winter craft show you could definitely make these for that. This is a simple uh, dishcloth that includes just five rounds and then you include the border and for the border I just had a lacy look to it made with single crochets and chains. So definitely an easy pattern for beginners. And like I said, you could change up the colors for this as you desire. So let's talk about the yarn that I used. So the yarn that I used is a new to me yarn and I wanted to try it out as I got a lot of feedback on different yarns, different cotton yarns. So I used Knit Picks Dishy, and this is a worsted weight yarn. This is 190 yards or 100 grams. And the color I used is called Jade. And this is protected or tested against the standard 100. So it's been tested against harmful substances. And this is 100% cotton. Again, it's a worsted weight yarn. And it is machine wash cold, tumble dry, low. So I use Knit Picks Dishy. And I've never used this before, but as you can see, you get a lot of yardage on here. And I was able to make all these dishcloths and still have this much yarn left over. So you could definitely get a lot of usage out of these skeins. So this is the first color. And then I just used a classic white. And then I just used this color, which is, is called Fiesta Red. And here's how much I still have left after that. And then I tried these two, which are the same thing. They're just twist. So this is Knit Picks Dishy Twist. And what I like about this cotton yarn is that whether you buy the solid color or the more variegated color like this, it's the same yardage and the same amount of grams, which is always great because usually when you buy variegated yarn, these solid colors have more yardage in them than the variegated. So I really liked that. And the one on the right is called Fiesta Red and that's just the twist version and the one on the left is called Jalapeno and I really liked all of those Christmassy colors together and then you're also going to need a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook today so let's get started on making the Mary Berry dishcloth okay so I'm just going to start with that green color. You could start with whatever color you would like and you're going to start with a magic circle. So you're going to leave the yarn end in front of your finger and you're just going to leave a tail and you're going to wrap around your finger. You're going to insert your hook underneath both loops. And then the loop on the left, you're just going to grab that and you're going to pull it right underneath that other loop and then with the loop behind you're going to go ahead and slip stitch that together okay and then after that you're going to go ahead and chain two so one 
and two. Now there's a few other ways that you can make this if you do not know how to make the magic circle. If you do know how to make the magic circle, you can make this in any way that you want. This is just the way that I make the magic circle. But if you do not want to make the magic circle, you can always go ahead and chain four and work in that very last chain or you can chain four and then slip stitch into that fourth chain and then you can begin your work in that loop that you form. So there's a few different ways that you can start it, but I just like using the magic circle. Next you're going to make 12 double crochets into that center. So to make a, mat, uh, make a double crochet, you're going to yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that circle, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and that is your double crochet. So again, yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's two double crochets. One more time, yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that magic circle or that loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So do this for a total of 12 times and I will meet up with you at the end and show you how to continue on to the next round. Okay, when you get your 12 double crochets, you're going to get that tail and then you're just going to pull so your round closes up. Just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get, you're going to find the top of that stitch and you're just going to go ahead and slip stitch. So that chain two does not count as your first double crochet. That's just the transition into the next rounds. So you want to find that first double crochet and slip stitch in the top of that double crochet. Okay, so after you make your slip stitch, you're going to go ahead and chain two. For round two, you're going to start with two double crochets in that very first stitch. So yarn over your hook and work two double crochets in that very first stitch. Next, you're going to work two double crochets in each of the stitches around for a total of 24 double crochets. Just work around your dishcloth and just make two double crochets in each of the stitches around. And then once you get to the very end, you should have a total of 24 double crochets. And I will meet you and show you how to continue with round three. Okay, so I'm over at the end of round two and then I have my total of 24 double crochets. So I'm going to find the top of my double crochet at the very beginning and I'm going to slip stitch that together. For round three, you're gonna go ahead and chain two, and you're gonna make a double crochet in the very first stitch. So again, find that very first double crochet stitch and make a double crochet. In the next stitch, you're gonna make two double crochets. So one, and two. Now you're going to repeat this around so you're going to have one double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochets in the stitch after that. Again, one double crochet and in the stitch after that, two double crochets. So repeat this all the way around. So you're gonna have one double crochet and in the next stitch, you're gonna have two double crochets. When you get to the end of your round, you should have 36 double crochets altogether. 
So again, one double crochet, and in the stitch after that, two double crochets. Repeat this around for a total of 36 double crochets, and I will meet up with you and show you how to continue with the next round. Okay, so I'm at the end of my round, and you started with that one double crochet, so you should end your round with two double crochets in that last stitch. You're going to find the top of that first double crochet and slip stitch together. For round four, you're going to go ahead and chain two. And in that very first stitch right here, you're going to go ahead and make a double crochet. So the stitch is going to be directly underneath that chain two because that chain two does not count as a stitch. And you're going to go right underneath and make a double crochet. Next, you're going to make two double crochets in the next two stitches. So in the stitch after that, you're going to make two double crochets. And you're going to make two double crochets in the stitch after that as well. So in your very first stitch, you're going to make one double crochet, and in the next two stitches, you're going to make two double crochets. And then you're going to repeat this all the way around. So again, one double crochet, and in the next two stitches, you're going to make two double crochets in each of the next two. One more time, one double crochet in the next stitch, and in the next two stitches, you're going to make two double crochets in the same stitch. Okay, so you're going to repeat this around. So again, one double crochet, and in the next two stitches, two double crochets. When you get to the end of the round, you should have a total of 60 double crochets. Okay, so when you get to the end of the round, you should have two double crochets in the last two stitches. So you started with that one double crochet, and then you should end with the two double crochets in the next two stitches. You're going to find the top of your double crochet and slip, sti slip stitch that together. For round five, you're going to go ahead and chain two, and you're going to make one double crochet in the very first double crochet. So again, you're going to go right in this stitch, and you're going to make a double crochet. Next, you're going to make a double crochet in the next three double crochets. So in the next three stitches, you're going to go ahead and make one double crochet. So you should have a total of four double crochets. In the next stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. So in the next stitch after that, again, you should have four to start off with. And in the stitch after that, you're going to make two double crochets in the same stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat this all the way around. In the next four double crochets, you're going to make one double crochet. And in the stitch after that, you're going to make two double crochets together. So you're going to make one double crochet in the next four stitches. just like that. And in the stitch after that, you're going to make two double crochets in that same stitch. 
in the next stitch after that you're going to make one double crochet in the next four stitches and in that stitch after that you're going to make two double crochets so go ahead and repeat this around and you should have a total of 72 double crochets at the very end okay so I'm at the end of my round and you started with that one double crochet in the first stitch so in that very last stitch you should end with two double crochets now this is the end of our dishcloth before we make the border so either you can just go ahead and use the same color or you can go ahead and change colors so I'm going to go ahead and just show you both ways so if I'm going to keep the same color I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch together so for the border we're going to be making a shell stitch so we're going to be chaining one and in that very first stitch you're going to go ahead and make a single crochet so you're going to insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop two loops on your hook yarn over pull through both loops next you're going to chain three one two and three and in that same stitch you're going to go ahead and make another single crochet so insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops and that forms your little shell stitch next you're going to skip one double crochet and you're going to make the shell in the next stitch so skip the next stitch and in the stitch after that make a single crochet chain three and then a single crochet all in that same stitch skip the next stitch and in the stitch after that make a single crochet chain three and single crochet all in that same space so you're just going to repeat this all the way around so again skip that next stitch and in the stitch after that make a single crochet chain three in a single crochet all in that same stitch so if you are rep if you're going to use the same color you're going to repeat that all the way around and you should have a total of 36 shell stitches at the end of your round if you're going to change your if you're going to change your colors I will show you how to do that now okay so if I wanted to go ahead and change colors I'm just going to go ahead and cut my yarn and you're going to leave a little bit of a tail and then you're going to grab that new color so I'm just going to use red and you're going to go ahead and insert your hook and instead of pulling up with that green color you're going to yarn over your hook and again leave a little bit of a tail to weave in your ends later and you're going to slip stitch with that new color and then I just like to give the yarn a little bit of a tug just to kind of keep everything in place and then you're going to go ahead and chain one and then again for the border what you're going to do is you're going to find that very first stitch and you're going to make a single crochet chain three and then you're going to make a single crochet right back in that very first stitch you're going to skip the next stitch and in the stitch after that you're going to go ahead and make a single crochet chain three and single crochet all in that same stitch skip that next stitch and in the stitch after that make a single crochet chain three single crochet all in that same stitch 
So you're just going to repeat this all the way around. So again, skip that next stitch and in the stitch after that, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and then you're going to repeat this all the way around for a total of 36 shells. When you get to the end of the round, I will show you how to complete the next one. Okay, so I'm at the end of my round, and as you can see, I finished my last shell. I have one chain remaining, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that one, and I'm going to find my very first single crochet, and I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch that together. So rounds 7 and 8 are exactly the same, so for the beginning of the round, you're going to go ahead and in that chain 3 space, you're going to insert your hook and just make a slip stitch. And then you're going to go ahead and chain 1 and you're going to make a shell in the same space. So in that very first shell, you're going to go ahead and single crochet, chain 3, and then you're going to go back in that chain 3 space and make a single crochet. You're going to find that next shell and you're going to go in that chain 3 space and you're going to make a single crochet chain three, single crochet, all in that chain three space. And you're going to repeat this around. So again, chain, uh, single crochet, chain three, single crochet in that chain three space. So you're basically working in the tops of that shell. So you're going to go right here in between and make your single crochet, chain three, single crochet. And then you are going to work two rounds in the same manner. So for round seven and round eight, you're going to do the exact same thing. When you get to the very end of your round, you're going to come to that very first single crochet and you're going to go ahead and make a slip stitch. So go ahead and repeat the same thing for round 7 and 8 by making a shell in between that shell from the very from the previous row and that is a single crochet, chain 3, single crochet. So repeat that for round 7 and 8 and I will show you what the completed dishcloth looks like. So here is what the finished dishcloth looks like and I already wove in all of my ends but here you can see that nice lacy look to it and then you have that center right there as well. So I really enjoyed making this and as you can see I made a bunch of different options like I showed you at the beginning of the video so you can definitely change up the colors and do whatever you would like. And you can even make a set of them and give them away as a holiday gift. Or again, if you wanted to make them for an upcoming craft fair, you can totally do that as well. This is a simple and easy pattern that works up in no time. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on learning how to make the Mary Berry dishcloth. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, happy crocheting. Bye.